Vegan activism, I'm also going to define for you, in a very simple way as put by Gary Yurofsky, you simply speak for animals in the same way that you would want to be spoken for if you were in their position. And whenever in doubt, you only have to remember this if you forget why you're doing this. If you lose your way in the heat of the moment, perhaps, just remember that you're speaking for animals in the same way that you would want to be spoken for if you were in their position. Does that make sense? Yeah. Pretty simple stuff. But what is that going to accomplish? I doubt that our friend over here is sitting in his cage and waiting to get killed would say, help me by holding screens in public for me. That shit isn't going to help him. He would still die. If vegans are to be in a position of farm animals, I'm pretty sure they wouldn't want others to speak for them like vegans speak for animals, because that wouldn't do a thing to save them. Bearing witness wouldn't really help vegans who are going to be executed soon. If that was actually happening, vegans in cages would scream for help and would want others to break them out and not just speak for them on the street before taking a lunch break. And I encourage you to speak up for the victims the way that you would want to be spoken for if it was you in their situation. Really think about how that would be. Um, my guess is most of you would want someone screaming and breaking down the doors for you. Yeah, exactly. People would want actions and results. And that's the thing. They're not really helping any animal which is going to meet a knife from meeting a knife. Look at this poor thing. She is crying, but it isn't going to help the pig. But on the other hand, this seems to help animals. But not all vegans have the balls to break the law for animals. But I get it. This whole part about speaking for animals seems to be nonsensical, but motivational speech to build some morale, and no one is going to question it. 